What's mm -hmm. up? This is a quick instructional video how to install the LiftMaster 883LM Security Plus 2.0 with the rolling codes and tangent with the um, MH Cozy Wi Fi Smart Switch Relay module. And I opted for the do it yourself garage door opener kit. So it has the um, door sensor and magnets so the app can tell you whether the garage door is open or closed and then you just your general um, PCB packing kit so hot glue gun multimeter your choice doorbell wire will work best because you are going to be pressing it into the garage door um, pins for red and white and they already use doorbell wire it's easier to get it in there if you use speaker wire you could just um, you can just wrap it around the, the other doorbell wires that sh may or may not be existing there uh, wire cutters if you don't have that you can just use scissors or knife just be careful um, I'm going to be using PCB holder with hands and magnifying glass and then just your regular Phillips and flathead so this is the cozy I already have the wires for the door opener installed so I don't have that right in front of me but um, that's it it's just and then there's instructions on that you got to follow to the T because the instructions that come with it are not very helpful getting it connected to your Wi-Fi you're gonna want to use um, 2.4 gigahertz you don't want to use any 5 because it's not compatible and if your SSID is the same as the 5 gigahertz go ahead and change it because um, it'll get confused and it will try to connect to the 5 and intermittent dropouts from what I read. Um, this was the cheapest uh, OEM um, sec Security Plus 2.0 button I could find. Definitely get OEM so you know it's going to work the first time and thereafter. Um, so I went ahead and just attached the red and white. You can see my red is red and my white is red. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circuit board out. I've already synced it with the door. It took about three presses and it finally synced. I'm going to take this circuit board out and then behind it, you can hear that. It's probably going to be a generic micro switch. And then we'll use our, our multimeter. Just when you put your multimeter in connectivity mode, you'll hear a beep when you have connection. So when we're pressed and the beep will go away the tone try to get one with a tone for continuity if you don't you're gonna have to watch this and it'll tell you when it's open you'll see you'll see this is um max number or just open on your multimeter when you depress it it'll be the circuit will be closed yeah you can see it just temporarily put on there but the micro switch i'm anticipating will look like this guy these are the cheapest ones and you can see it even sounds the same and then on the bottom you can see it's only using two of the four legs so when you press it it's just completing the circuit um, these two legs here and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna mimic the two legs that are in use and We're going to connect our normally open, our normally closed to the OEM one and then connect this red and white to the actual garage door opener. So I'm going to mount all this, just use 3M to keep it on top of the garage door opener. You won't see it, it'll be on top anyways and that's how we're going to pad hack that. Because if you try to use this on a Security Plus 2.0 garage door opener, it should have put it in bold letters because that's pretty much all the newer ones or the Cambridge or the LiftMasters, the newer ones. It's not compatible, so we're going to make it compatible. All right, good luck. And um, I might go ahead and 
I'll take another video once this is done. All right. So I didn't have my alligator clips for my multimeter, but I did find the two legs. So let's see if it focuses. Basically, if you hold it horizontal where this blue chip is here, um, this leg and this leg you can use, or this leg and this leg you can use. These two legs are <clears throat> the same, and then these two legs are the same. So you just want to use diagonally. You're going to connect your normally open and, and common or vice versa, normally open and common. So when this is pressed, um, that's what's going to be activated on the Cozy. And what we'll do is our relay on the Cozy will activate this switch remotely or through the wire and use this circuit board to activate the garage door opener. So I'm going to prep those contacts and solder my cable. So, I got my pad hack on there. You hear that continuity test? So, here's my lead for normally open and close on the Cozy and on the LiftMaster doorbell, doorbell switch. I'm going to press it. Two, three, four, five, six. There's no short. There's no cold solder. Next, I'm going to hot glue the connection to keep it permanent. And I'm thinking about even double siding right on top of the relay so it shouldn't get hot.